His father was a dentist and her mother worked at the Catholic Church. After graduating from N Street High School in 1907 and Minor Normal School in 1909, Haynes went on to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree in mathematics from Smith College. Soon after that, she married Harold Hayes. In 1930, Haynes received a master's degree in education from the University of Chicago. That same year, she founded the math department at Minor Teacher College, now known as the University of the District of Columbia, which focused on training African American teachers. Also becoming a professor at the college in 1930, Haynes remained head of the school's math department for nearly 30 years. Along with her education work at this time, Haynes continued studying mathematics. In 1943, she earned a PhD degree in mathematics from the Catholic University of America, making her the first black woman to do so. Haynes taught mathematics at Armstrong High School, served as an English teacher at Minor Normal School, and taught math as chair of the department at Dunbar High School, the premier DC African American high school. She was also a professor of mathematics at the District of Columbia Teachers College where she served as chair of the Division of Mathematics and Business Education. Continuing her advocacy efforts after retiring in 1959, Haynes got involved with many causes and organizations. She also co-founded the Catholic Interracial Council of the District of Columbia. For her efforts on behalf of the Catholic Church, Haynes was awarded a medal in 1959. She joined the District of Columbia Board of Education the following year and became its president in 1966, continuing to fight racial segregation. Haynes died on July 25, 1980 at the age of 89 in Washington, D.C. After her death, the Catholic University of America received $700,000 from her estate, with which they endowed a chair and established a student loan fund in her education department. was born on July 24, 1917 in Gaffey, South Carolina. He was the fifth out of six kids in his family. Both his parents died at age eight, so he was an orphan. All the kids went to live at Harbinger Institute, a boarding school in Irmo, South Carolina. They worked on Harbinger Farm in the summertime to pay for their winter schooling. All of them went to college. Five of the kids earned bachelor's degrees, and one sister attended college for two years. All three boys went to Johnson C. <coughs> Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina. All the boys majored in mathematics. Stevens graduated in 1938 and went on to graduate from the University of Michigan and get his master's in science in 1939 and his PhD a degree showing your excellence in your field in mathematics in 1943. After a tour as, as a teaching specialist for the US Navy, he went to join the faculty of Prairie View A&M University as a professor in math. One year later, the president of Michigan State University sent Stevens an invitation to be a professor in math, to which he said yes. While at MSU, Stevens saw what a bad job people were doing at teaching kids to enjoy math. In 1962, he said yes to an invitation to <coughs> SUNY Genesio as a professor. He later left to join faculty at SUNY Potsdam. Then he became chairman at SUNY from 1962 to when he retired in 1987. During his time at SUNY, he became nationally known as a model of teaching excellence in math. The teaching techniques of Stevens are still being used today. Clarence demonstrated perseverance by working hard as an African American in a time where it was challenging. He died just six years ago on March 5th, 2018.